What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. So I want to start off with my rating and my recommendation. So I'm giving this book a B plus and I do really really recommend it but I think the enjoyment level of this book depends entirely on how you go into it. So my mom read this book before she watched the movie, before she really heard anything about it, and she didn't like it. She said that it was really weird. She didn't enjoy it. So she didn't understand why I wanted to read it so much. And I decided that I wanted to read it because one of my favorite podcasts, Meta Machina, put out an episode all about Annihilation. They read the book, they watched the movie, and if you haven't listened to them, you really need to listen to this episode because it's absolutely amazing and it just made me really excited and it got me really interested in the story as a whole. So I still at this point had not seen the movie Annihilation. I'm sure you guys remember the, you know, the previews for this movie. It was that really weird horror film where they were going to go into this strange landscape and there's all of these plants and all that kind of crazy stuff, which I was always really interested in it. I mean, you know, Natalie Portman, Oscar Isaac. I was also a plant and soil science major, so I really love me some crazy plant genetics, but never really got around to it. After hearing Meta Machine to talk about it though, I decided I really needed to watch this film. I watched it, I became obsessed with it, really loved it, went out, immediately read the book, and I also really truly enjoyed the book. So I really do think going into the book, you need to know about it and you need to know about the story. I think that really makes all the difference. So actually watching this video right now is a really good step one because this book is told very impersonally. It's very scientific and it's all about these five women scientists who are going into a place called Area X and their main objective is to just observe. Nobody knows what's going on in this area, but they know that people go into it and they don't come back the same. And there's all these rules about going into Area X. You know, you can't take any new technology. You can't know each other's names. Like you are just the biologist. You are the psychologist. You are the anthropologist. You go in and it just, something happens. It changes you in there. And this has been going on for 30 years and scientists have been trying to figure out what that is. So this book is told from the biologist. She is writing this down in her journal. She is trying to explain to us what it is that happened there, what it is that happened to her. And she does this very impersonally. She doesn't explain what the other characters look like. She doesn't give them names. She doesn't know anything about their personalities. All we're getting is what she observed in Area X. And throughout the book, we do get little bits and pieces here and there about her life before. We learn about her husband. We learn about her life growing up. We do get a little bit of a name for her, that being Ghostbird, which her husband calls her. But other than that, that's kind of all we get and I really like it. It's really weird, but the prose and the metaphor are just very haunting and it really sticks with you. I listened to this book, but I really need to get my hands on a physical copy because there are a lot of quotes that I want to pull out of this so that I can revisit them. And more than anything, I think reading this in tandem with watching the movie, so I watched the movie first, that allowed me to kind of be okay with the fact that it wasn't as personal because I already spent times with these characters in the movie. So I was able to just take that and inject that into the book. It felt like I had a little bit more backstory. Whereas if you're going into the book just completely blind, like you don't know, you don't have any of this context at all, I could see where that would be a little bit of a struggle and I can see why my mom didn't really like it that way. But I also like with the movie, it's its own kind of meta commentary on what happens in Area X, because the whole thing is, is that you almost can't trust what you're seeing and you almost can't trust what's going on because it is just so unlike anything you've ever experienced before. So when they were adapting the novel, they actually only read the book once and then when the script was being written it was never referenced again just to kind of give it that like dream like this could have happened or this maybe may is like a way that you could interpret it but what stays the same is that metaphor and this whole idea of being a ghost bird and being watched and this difference between suicide and self-destruction this difference between wanting to die and wanting to feel alive and it's really truly beautiful and I cannot recommend it enough. There are so many aspects of the story that have just really stuck with me and I just can't stop thinking about it. So I really, really recommend checking it out. This book was kind of designed for me to like it. This whole story was kind of designed for me to like it, just my personal taste. But like I said, I really do think going into it with 
more context really helps. So I think learning about it, watching the movie, reading the book is the way to get the most enjoyment out of it. But I would be really interested to know, like if you have read the book and you haven't seen the movie or you didn't know anything about it, or if you do it in some kind of other order, I'd really love to know your thoughts about it down in the comments down below. This is just such an interesting story. And it's something that I just really would love to discuss and would really love to turn over. And I will also leave a link to that Meta Machina discussion in the description down below because it's a really, really great episode and I felt personally attacked by some of the things that were mentioned. So it's just really, really great. I, I just, I cannot say enough good things about this story. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.